realize you've got cancer, it's not an easy thing to accept. And I think you sort of think, oh, what's the use? Did you think that? Yep. But that changed with the care she received. Something changed in me. It's making me appreciate the fact that I'm still here. So you want to make sure that you're always in control of the They get you going. They motivate you. They, you've got motivation. It's that kind of treatment Dr. Martin Chasen, a world-class leader in palliative care, believes in. You know, I think treatment of the cancer is vital. Um, but care of the person is also vital. Dr. Chasen is heading up a new palliative care rehabilitation program because he believes treating cancer takes more than radiation and chemotherapy. This program will look at all aspects holistically. The nutrition, the exercise, the phys physical activity, the psychological issues, the social issues, the return to work issues, the meaning that, that patients um, try and see what this cancer actually means to them. His team of nurses, doctors, physiotherapists, social workers and nutritionists will not only work with the patients on a daily basis, they'll also tend to the patient's caregiver, like a spouse or a child. When patients would come in for an exercise program at the same time, the caregiver would be looked after by or would be part of a group by a social worker or a nurse or an occupational therapist or whoever does that part of the work. Dr. Chasen says there are 1.5 million people in Canada living with a cancer diagnosis. And compared to a decade ago, people are living with cancer longer and surviving it. And for that reason, a patient's needs are changing. I don't think the type of disease is important. We've moved away from looking at disease specific to rather patient specific. In Ottawa, Annette Gurner, A Morning. Now here's some more information on the palliative care rehabilitation program. Uh, the Ottawa Regional Cancer Foundation gave $120,000 over five years to the program. The program will be run out of the Elizabeth Breer Hospital. And don't forget, of course, the Telethon of Hope will be live on A on Sunday, January 17th.